So Remnant 2, let's talk about this. One year ago, something like that, I bought the Remnant 2 because I was so excited to go and, and play that game. And literally I finished the game on Nightmare Difficulty, which was the, the hardest difficulty you can go for uh, when you're starting the game. There is one more difficulty, Apocalypse, but that you can play only when you finish the game. So I finished the campaign and I wanted to go for the DLCs because I knew that there would be three DLCs in, in the future, but there haven't been before. So so I put the game away and I knew that I will return just to experience what more is for Remnant 2. And finally, after a year, I returned back and I finished those two DLCs. The third one is coming next month or something like that. So let's let's talk about that. I want to talk about the comparisons to the first one, what changed, what is better, what is worse, I guess. And let's go talk about some, some things that I would love to add to the game. And I would love to know if you agree or what else you would recommend to add for the game as a future content. And then let's, let's conclude it with if it's the game worth your time my time if I will jump back into the game or just leave it there uh, for for new content to be released. So let's talk about that. So first and foremost, let's jump into those improvements and comparisons that I have in my mind with the Remnant 1 and Remnant 2. First of all, I want to say the Remnant, like the series, is underrated. I, I feel that the, even the first one was really good, and then they haven't really uh, pulled out the 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 I like you know, the commotion that it should. But the Remnant 2 certainly done better. I feel that in every single kind of way. For me, a the, the best part, or I was amazed because I was watching the, the trailers, right? I was watching the, the, the release of the classes, like the trials for the uh, for the classes that will be included in the game. I was like, all oh, right, do I will be playing a challenger or a handler or, or a medic or a gunslinger? I was like four of them. There were four classes announced. I was like, okay, four classes. That's that's much better than the first one. By the way, when they announced that there will be like classes and skills, like addition to the to the baseline of what we have from the Remnant One, I was so excited. It 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 just felt right. It felt like yeah, finally. Because in the first one, you're choosing between those classes, right? You are going cultist or you are going this one, but it will give you a different weapon and different weapon mode and different set of armor. That's it, that's your fantasy, but you can switch to the others and the fantasy is out. So uh, this was absolutely huge leap to a good, this, uh, like a good way, right? But what I was amazed by was that there was not only four classes, there were many more, but they have not put any marketing to it and they left to the, to the community to find those classes and, and share with the world, right? I found the summoner, I found the ritualist, or or I found the Archon engineer. There is 12 classes right now. It was it was originally started with 10, now it's 12 classes. And some of them are absolutely insane. One of them had to be data mine, data mine from a uh, from the developers to able to even be able to find where you can find it because you need absolute tremendous amount of work for it you need to find a specific piece for every single slot in your inventory then you have to find the place where you will unlock the door and then you will find the class. I am right about to get the last class and that's the Archon and it's just amazing. And that's not where it ends. Like the exploration part of the game is just insanity. There are so small things that you can like go through the uh, go through the door or, or invisible wall or something like that. Or you will take an item that you will find and you can like hand it over as a quest or you can keep it and give it to someone else to get a different kind of like amulet or ring to, to just enable you a whole different playstyle. And there is so many bits and pieces that when you find something like the exploration, like the part of the game is just absolutely great. And I'm enjoying every single part of, of the journey. So another thing that I would love to mention is a map. 
The map design is just immaculate. It's just great. It's just serving the purpose. You always know where to go. You know where is the like layers to it. And it's just working. And uh, sometimes you have those maps in the game and you are like lost here. Great design. I absolutely love it. And not not to stop on the map, the, the enemies designs absolutely insane some of them especially with the new dlc that the the not not robots but the armor that are like shells of their former glory great design and the guns sometimes like the reloading and and also other stuff yeah it's just make a good wipe so yeah kudos to that one more thing to mention for sure is the solo play because i remember i played the first remnant with my friend right we were playing together as a co-op and the game was absolutely fantastic we enjoy every single second of it and we finished the game strong and on the hardest difficulty and it was a really nice experience but after a while, I was like, yeah, let's go to Remnant, right? I will, I will boot it up and I will go through it myself. And it was not that great experience. I feel that the solo play in the first one was kind of like not intended to play. Like you supposed to go with the friends, you supposed to go with three or two players and it, it will just enhance the experience. In this one, I went through it all by myself and it's just, I don't have the same feeling about about the game as the first one where I was feeling, yeah, th this is not right. There are supposed to be like more players to be able to, you know, enjoy this. And, and this one is not the case. What I don't know is how how the team play is. Is it better? Is it even better than solo play? Let me know down below in comment section if you have played Remnant 2 with buddies and you play all the thing together and yeah, if you have comparison to the first one, let me know because I haven't jumped in co-op on, onto this one just yet, but that will come in the future, I guess. So the solo is better, so I, I think it's more approachable by people now. One more thing, I think the foundation of the game, how like how they make it replayable. So when you when you reroll the adventure, you are just procedurally generated like even the stories and bits and pieces to the world. And now they can build upon it. Now they can add more locations and it will just enrich the experience that you're having, right? But it depends how much content they will add for, for this to be cycling and be less repetitive. Even though there is there is quite a lot of locations, quite a lot of stuff, yeah, if you are playing a lot, you will find yourself that you, now I understand how it works and it's not that much of a content, I would say. But it's certainly, like, I got more than 100 hours into the game and I don't I haven't unlocked all the classes I have not beaten the hardest difficulty and I certainly haven't found all the weapons and stuff so it depends on the on the on what are you as a player but certainly there is 50 hours just like minimum that you can go and and you will not like fight all the enemies all the bosses and explore all the locations so i think it's it's a really strong starting point and hope with with those another the dlcs that will be coming because each dlc adding more for each zone there is in the game so the first dlc come and add one more zone to the lossom which is one of the zones that you can visit the the second dlc visit the yesha again and added one more zone to the top of the three and the, the last DLC that will be added one month uh, from now, they will be adding uh, one more zone for Nerud, which is the last like location that we haven't been visited just yet again. And I would love to know what's coming next, because I would love to see like more stuff. One thing that I feel it's missing in the game right now is like different game modes. There is only going through the story, right? You re-rolling the, the same adventure. But in the first one, there were like different modes. There was like the the mode that you were going just for the bosses and you were like bossing, boss rushing through the game. And if you die, you just return back on the beginning and you start over. So it was like challenge run, something like that. And so I would love for them to add more stuff, more progression. I'm missing like, let add me. For example, there is one, one place that is really cool in the Yesha and you can farm blood orbs. And when you, when you getting those, you can find the altar that can unlock you stuff 
right? More stuff. I would love more of those. I would love to go somewhere, visit, collect some kind of resource around the world, just running around and unlocking more, for example, traits, more points into some system. I feel more things that I could hunt for. I think that would be really great. What else I would love to re like add for them or change is uh, the idea that when you re-roll re the, the adventure, you are going into the map. So the whole map have only, for example, two enemies at once, like two kinds of enemies. And then elite spawn, right? Some you killing the enemies and after a while elite will spawn and it'll just differ an enemy and it's just bringing the, the variety, right? But the basic enemies, there are only two of them. So when you reroll again, you will get, for example, two other. I would love mix and match or add the third one, like add more from the world into, into one biome. If you are rerolling the adventure, it's not like the story mode. Let's add those things together because it's just, it, it will make it more replayable because those combinations will make it uh, like interesting. I understand that sometimes it's just focusing on some kind of play style, right? For example, you have the balls that's running on the, uh, on the, uh, on the ground and it's trying to hit you. And meanwhile, you have flyers that is going uh, above you. So that means that you can, f you have to focus on something what is on the ground, but meanwhile, there are things that are flying uh, above. So you have those two th angles that you need to cover. In if they, if they would add one more enemy that is on the ground, you have three angles to cover. But I feel that should be the thing for the apocalypse, for example. Add like the variety of the enemies based on the difficulty. So for example, add, add different apocalypse. Let's add apocalypse tier one, for example, or, or you know, just, just something above. And then we'll start combining those enemies into the map. And for example, even from the different world, let's visit the reality or something something like that when everything is combining together everything is like mixed you are delusional or something like that and it's just combining those different places into the one so you are going for yesha and then you're going through the gate for a secondary and you are on the Nerud, for example just make it unpredictable make it more like you know something more to it I think that that could be really good for replayability. What else I would love for them to add is a new biome. We have three different biomes, hopefully with the new DLC or the DLCs that come like next year. I hope they will add new world to explore or at least visit, visit the world from, from the campaign, the labyrinth or the root earth and add it to the pool of maps that we can go for adventure. I think the variety is now a king. There, there, is, there is so many secrets and so many stuff to find, but it's st starting to be like stale. So let's, let's, you know, give there a little bit of juice to give us something to go for and, and be, be excited for. So yeah, new biome. And last but not least, one thing that I struggle for those who saw me play the campaign one year ago, I was playing through the whole game on the nightmare difficulty, as I said before, and I was play I was playing a challenger, right? And I was waiting for for unlocking your class. I wanted to have the second class, right? Because I heard it in the marketing that you are supposed to combine two classes to one and then just, you know, get yourself a little bit better with that. And I was playing through the whole campaign and I was waiting <laughs> for this, this to happen, right? To have unlocked the second class, but it never came because you need to find specific like items to unlock a class, which is fine. I like that idea. I, it's just great. But I was waiting for that to be like part of the main mission, right? Like you, you, you will talk to someone, for example, and they will tell you, yeah, you can be more powerful. You need to find this item. And for example, give you the one from the basic ones, right? You you are selecting from three, I think it, it is. If you pre-order, you have the gunslinger opened, but you have three classes at the beginning of the game. Give me those three classes. Like, give me the tutorial, for example, yeah, let's visit the, the medic in the city. Talk to him. And for example, you, the, the, the girl that is working there, she will send you for the mission, right? And she will give you 
the, the thing. Because you can buy it from her for 1500 or something like that. But you don't know that. You, you don't know that, that you need this item. I thought the whole campaign that I will need some item to unlock the ability to choose the class. I didn't know that I need specific like items for the classes. And that's kind of <laughs> made me to the point that I reached the final boss. I reached the final boss of the whole campaign on a nightmare difficulty and I hadn't had my secondary class. And after that, I was talking to someone on a stream and it was like, yeah, you can unlock the new class by, by items. And I like, all right, interesting. I was, I thought after a while that I haven't got the secondary class that I need to finish campaign. It's like the, the new game plus that you will finish the game, for example, as a challenger, right? And then you will unlock it and that you, you are able to go <laughs> And, and and select it as a secondary class or choose a different one or is it just like the m meta progression or the, the 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 something the carrot on the stick for you to go for example for apocalypse with the dual class so i feel it should be better explained maybe i'm the only one i'm am i the only one who just struggle with this or uh, because i have not seen any single video on the internet right when i was playing the campaign or when i am progressing i was not really looking around for the build or anything like that so after i beat the game i realized there are more classes for example because yeah i didn't know i haven't unlocked any single class for the whole playthrough so yeah maybe it's just me but i would love them to for example give give a little bit of hint for the secondary class inside the main story so that will be that will be something and i guess that's that's it for me there are really positive things about this game and there are some things that i would love to add but there is nothing wrong with the game the war the game working perfectly i had like a little bit of issues with the with the lagging but not not the major ones so so i think that's fine um and what i really like how they like took everything what was part of the first remnant they took it and they just built upon that and in every single way the game is better like the classes you have more variety you have those mutators on the guns that you can change the how it working you have the special guns with the special mods that you can find you have mods that you are getting from the bosses and you can change them in the weapons you have rings that that will enabling you the builds you have amulet that's also part of the builds you have two classes out of 12 and you can use two of them in interchangeably you have trade points that you are unlocking and all of those things are just making it that you can really go for different classes, different combinations and there is a lot of replayability. And it's just, this is just great. I, I really enjoy the going through the game and I hope they will start building upon that. So that will be a new DLC release in a month and I was planning to go for, for the DLC and it will be released. I will go again, I will play, reroll the campaign and I will go for Apocalypse and we will be starting with the fresh uh, hero, right? With with no equip, with nothing and we will go just through the whole Apocalypse again. Uh, but I changed my mind uh, because I I'm enjoying the remnant right now a lot so i would love to start right now so we will be starting um the apocalypse um run uh tomorrow on thursday uh 6 p.m cet so you can find me on twitch and youtube and uh, yeah we will be we'll be going for that I'll, i think it will be fun and in the month there will be the release of the new dlc and we will be prepared for it and we will be casually going through the new content that uh, this this should be released with the DLC. So I'm hyped. Uh, let's join me there. And uh, I think it will be good. So yeah, that's it from me today. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for your time. Let me know down below in the comment section. What do you think about Remnant 2? Have you played Remnant 2? Have you played Remnant 1? What is the comparison for you? Are you enjoying the game? Or... What are your expectations for the DLC? And what, 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 for example, what are your hurdles? Like what, what you don't like about the game? What would you wish the devs changed the game like to enjoy it more? So let me know. I'm so curious to find out because maybe I'm in the capsule and yeah, maybe, you know, you have different opinion and I would love to hear. So that's it. Meanwhile, you can check more videos above or you can hit the subscribe button and you will never miss any single video anymore. So yeah, that will be nice. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much.
Stay awesome as you always are. And I will see you all next.